Hi, I'm Ryan Mandelbaum here with Travel and Leisure Magazine, and I am learning about the physics of roller coasters here at Six Flags Great Adventure. I'm here at El Toro, which is a wooden roller coaster. The way that wooden roller coasters work is they bring the car up using either a cable or a chain generating potential energy from the height. Once the cable or chain lets go of the car, it travels down and generates kinetic energy. Now you need to build the first tower high enough in order to generate enough potential energy so that the car can complete the entire circuit and make its way back to the station. Behind me we have King Ka, which is the tallest roller coaster in the world at 456 feet. It's almost as tall as the tallest building in nearby Newark, New Jersey. King Ka goes from 0 to 128 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. It's the second fastest roller coaster in the world behind a roller coaster in Abu Dhabi. Unlike the wooden roller coaster El Toro, King Ka needs to use a hydraulic launcher to generate the energy to send the car up over the hill and back down. While King Ka is the tallest and second fastest roller coaster in the world, we're starting to hit the limits of just how tall and fast a roller coaster can really be. So roller coaster designers are building new coasters like the Joker over here, which add elements like spinning in the seats themselves to accelerate the body in weirder, more interesting ways. You might have wondered why the loops on roller coasters are teardrop shaped and not circular. It's actually because of a little known physical concept called jerk. Now jerk is just the change in the acceleration. If you don't accelerate smoothly, then you get that jerking sensation, which can cause whiplash in your neck. Now roller coasters designers realized that if they built their loops to be teardrop shaped rather than circles, it would reduce the amount of jerk that the riders felt and reduce the amount of whiplash, giving a smoother ride.